welcome back to another vlog a happy monday although it is not a happy monday outside it is so ugly outside right now it's not even funny like it is so just like gray and gloomy and windy and rainy and just gross outside so i got up and i decided to get ready this morning just to feel a little bit better i'll show you guys my outfit real quick this is my little comfy outfit for the day this sweatshirt is from target i think it is like the cutest thing in the entire world i am so obsessed with it i got it in a medium so it would be a little bit oversized but i think i could have sized down to just do a small because it's already a little bit oversized but i love that and then these shorts are from forever 21 they're the same shorts that i already have in gray these are my favorite shorts they're so 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 comfy so i will have my whole outfit linked down below for you guys in case you guys want to go check it out i did talk about this in my last vlog i did a little loungewear haul so that is my outfit. I just threw a load of laundry in because I need to do my laundry, so I started that. Now I'm gonna sit down and make my to-do list for the day. I kind of already started doing that, but I didn't finish it, so I'm gonna do that really quickly. I did my makeup this morning, and I kind of like switched up how I do it. I've been doing some different things that I've been really liking, so maybe I'll do an updated makeup routine for you guys if you guys want to see that. I feel like I just did one not that long ago, but I've definitely like switched things up recently. So maybe I'll do an updated one of those soon in another vlog. I think I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put my to-do list on my phone today because it has like the list feature. I don't ever use it, but I think I'm gonna try that today. See if I like it, see how it goes. I'm gonna try and just like get my to-do list done on my phone and then I'm probably gonna go make a smoothie. <laughs> my smoothie i actually was watching abby aslan's vlog that she uploaded today and she was talking about this banana smoothie that she was making so as soon as i saw that i decided i was gonna try it so this is the smoothie it has like oats banana peanut butter everything i love in a smoothie it looks really good i don't think i've ever had oats in a smoothie before so i'm gonna give it a try i really like it it's really banana -y. i love a good just like plain banana smoothie the only thing I think I might do differently is add less oats. Her recipe had a cup of oats and I think I'd do like a half a cup. Like it's a little bit too oaty for me if that makes sense. But it is really good so I'm gonna take it upstairs and sip out my smoothie and plan out some of my videos for the week. That's been something that I've been doing a lot lately. It's like trying to actually plan out my videos ahead of time. So I'm gonna go try and plan those out for the week. still finishing my smoothie also this is <laughs> this is the what are these called coasters it's like a little cardboard coaster that i put on my desk when my drink like sweats so it doesn't ruin my thing but this coaster i've had forever it's literally from probably four or five years ago when college was starting me and my best friend made a bunch of like i think it was when college was starting we made a, a bunch of fun like canvas prints and stuff and i don't know how she ended up making this she ended up making a coaster and then somehow i ended up with it and i still use it to this day i just think it's cute and it like makes me think of her every time that i use it so that's my little coaster but i've just been planning for the last little bit i wanted to show you guys this youtube planner in case you guys are interested i know not all of you guys make youtube videos and stuff but i still wanted to show you guys in case you do make videos and there's also a lot of digital planners out there for you guys if you guys like something like this so this YouTube planner is from my girl, Lindsay. I will have her information linked down below. And she came out with this YouTube planner, which I was so excited about. So she sent it over to me. I want to share it all with you guys. I know I have a discount code for her Etsy shop. 
So I'll have that linked down below with this digital planner in case you guys are interested. But I am like seriously so obsessed with it. So this is the cover and then I pretty much customized it to fit me. So it has a bunch of different templates in here, different sheets in here, but I customized this for me personally, the things that I knew that I would use and that I needed. So I took out some of the other sheets that I wasn't really thinking that I would need, but it came with a lot more. Just so you guys know, there are a lot more sheets that come with this. This is just what I know I need specifically. So this page, I have my video ideas. I always have an ongoing list of video ideas, like all the time. Usually I write them down, but this is really nice so that I don't have to have sticky notes all over the place. I can just write my video ideas here. So these are like some video ideas that I have currently. There is a weekly schedule, which I really like this, especially currently because I'm really planning out my videos more than I used to. So this goes Sunday through Saturday and then I just go through and I highlight which days I'm filming. I highlight which days I'm posting so that I know when I wanna film, when I wanna post, and I just kind of like write out what the video is. So lately I've been doing a lot of vlogs. It's something that I really enjoy. They're like my favorite to make. They're my favorite to do. I just, I really, really enjoy them. So I pretty much plan on vlogging every day and then I've just been like kind of planning out the things that I'm gonna do in my day. I just find that it gives me like more structure to the vlog instead of it being all over the place if I kind of like know what the vlog is gonna be about. So today I'm showing you guys my YouTube planner. I have some online class lecture stuff to do and then I also need to clean out my closet. So that's today's vlog that you guys are watching right now. So I know that I'll vlog every day and then I'll kind of go through as the week goes on and decide what all I want to get done on those days. These two sheets I also really, really like. I need to go through and fill these out. I just haven't filled them out yet. And then it has a monthly planner, which I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with this. I really like having a monthly planner spread to put my videos in. I'm just trying to figure out like how I want to input all of that. So I just went through and planned out the dates. And I'm going to figure out what I want to do for each day here. She had these in totally different order. So I ordered them based on what made sense with me, which is something that I really like. So that's something that I've been starting to use the past couple weeks. I've been using this. I really like it. I'm sure there's other like digital planners, like just regular digital planners that you can do planning with online on Etsy and stuff. If you guys are interested in it, I think it's really cool. It's really amazing because I can really personalize it to me and go through and erase things that I don't want or move pages around. So, so highly recommend you guys looking into a digital planner and if you want the youtube planner that i have i will have that link down below for you guys in case you guys want to go check it out i'm gonna go switch out my laundry right now actually because i think the dryer is done so i want to switch it out so i can put more stuff in the wash and then viewers will go to their channel so some of the times i won't say all but i do see a lot of people doing that it's kind of rude you guys have probably seen that i've been doing a good amount of shopping since all this happened so i have a big pile of clothes right here this is from my video that I did with my express student teaching clothes and then like a bunch of loungewear clothes that I have. So many clothes that I haven't had a chance to put away yet because my closet is like stuffed to the brim. It is so full. Let me show you guys real quick. This is what my closet currently looks like. I feel like it's like a pretty tiny closet and I have a lot of stuff so it doesn't all fit in here. And obviously it's springtime so I don't want to have like all my thick sweaters and stuff up here i want to put like my thick sweaters back there and then bring out my summer stuff so that i have my warmer clothes out so that i can get to them more easily so i need to like do a big switcheroo in my closet and i also need to put all of these clothes away and i need to get rid of some stuff because i have way too many clothes and to be completely honest there's a lot of them that i don't even touch normally i would go through and then like take it to plato's closet but i cannot do that right now because corona so I'm gonna go through and put everything in like a basket or a bag and then put it in my car and then as soon as all this stuff is over and I can take my clothes in, I will. But for now, they'll just have to like just sit in a bag for a while. at least all the stuff up here there's still some stuff back there but i'll go through that when i switch everything around so i have this pile of stuff which isn't as much as i thought it was going to be i'm having a hard time getting rid of some stuff that i should probably be getting rid of but this is a good start it's mostly pants to be honest like i just am not into this style of cargo pant and then these are jeans that i've had for a really long time 
some of them are probably from like high school to be honest and I'm not the same size that I was in high school so I have a lot of jeans that I'm getting rid of which needed to be those needed to be gone for a while so I have that all done and then this is my pile of stuff that I just want to put in a different place like I just don't want these like in my closet anymore so I'll go put those away now it is time to do the big switcheroo and put my sweaters in the back and bring out the summer clothes but we're going to do it the fast way so let's just go ahead and clean this up. all clean now it looks so 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 much better I have all of my winter clothes back here some of the stuff that I know that I won't touch in the winter and then this is kind of what the front looks like so I have all of my sandals you guys can tell that slides are like my favorite like this pair this pair and this pair right here are my most worn shoes in the summer I love my slides so much so then down here I just have my tank tops I have my shorts and then these are all of my pants my leggings um, skirts dress pants like all of my pants are down here and then up here I do have a section of long sleeve sweaters so I like I have my let's stay home pullover right here these are still for sale if you guys want to go check them out um, I think we've raised like well over $500 at this point which is so crazy it literally blows my mind but all of the profit for this goes to fighting COVID-19 so if you guys want to go check out this sweater it will be linked down below and then I just have like my merch hoodie here and just like some general long sleeves that I know I can put on with shorts if it's chilly out these are just like my pieces that I know I can transition from spring to summer or even in the summer at nighttime when it is chilly like these are the pieces that I know I can go to right here are all of my t-shirts and then over here are my dresses dresses are also my favorite to wear in the summer they're like just so easy but that is what the closet is looking like I'm so happy with it this is the pile of stuff that I'm going to like be donating or trying to sell getting rid of I'm getting it out of my closet that is that pile so I got rid of quite a lot of stuff I felt like I wasn't doing that good at first I felt like I wasn't really getting rid of that much stuff but I actually feel really good my closet is much cleaner now I found some pieces that I didn't know that I had that I am excited to wear so so glad that I finally got that done because it's been on my list of things to do for literally forever so I'm so glad that I finally got my closet all done and ready for the summertime I also found this necklace this is an old necklace I got this like years ago it's from Tiffany it has a little a initial pendant right here and then just a cute little chain and I'm so tired you guys like I, that took me so long I'm just so tired for some reason today like I just can't do anything it's 5 30 right now that went so fast I don't know where the day went but I'm just I'm literally so pooped I do want to do a little bit of school work today just a tiny bit so I think it's time to get started with on that now because I forgot listen to your heart the new show for like the bachelor bachelorette on ABC starts tonight I forgot about it and I'm so pumped now so at eight o'clock every Monday I'll have something to look forward to which I just love so I'm excited to see how that show goes tonight and I want to have all my stuff done before that starts tonight so I'm going to probably sit on my computer for the next like hour and a half and work through some homework that way I can like get ready for bed get into bed and get on my show for my one phonics course we have to do a dyslexia module and I believe it's like a requirement of the state I think like this module is meaning people affected by it have trouble not with seeing language but with manipulating it for example if you heard the word cat and then someone asked you remove the C what word would you have left at this can be difficult for those with dyslexia I finished up most of the videos in the dyslexia module that I have to do so all the videos are watched and now I just have a couple articles to read and then I just have to write my reflection paper based off of that so I'm feeling really good about that module I'll probably finish the articles tomorrow morning and then write the reflection paper tomorrow that way I can just like totally be done with that so that feels really good I'm glad that I got a start on that and now I'm sitting down waiting for listen to your heart to come on the new bachelor are you excited Eddie no I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have something to look forward to on Monday nights again. Although I'm really sad because obviously the Bachelorette isn't filming yet and I love Bachelorette also, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and watch this. So this is pretty much where I'm gonna be for the rest of the night, watching my little show and just hanging out, relaxing, having a good night. To listen to your heart. A brand new show that we're all really excited about.